All right, let's get into today's product. It is the Gerber Strong Arm. Hey everyone, Ben from Leaving Survival, and this is the Gerber Strong Arm. So I previously did a video on the Gerber Strong Arm. It was actually a gauntlet review, so I had to give it up, but I liked it so much that I purchased my own. It's a fantastic fixed blade with a fantastic price. So I'm also going to leave some links below to the Gauntlet website, thegauntlet.tv, where you can check out my review as well as the abuse that all the other reviewers put this knife through. It held up so well and I liked it so much for the price that I ended up picking one up for myself. Now the one I reviewed for the Gauntlet had the black GFN handle. This one has the coyote color. So it comes in both coyote and black and you can also get it in a plain edge or a serrated edge. I chose the plain edge. This knife is a really good crossover knife between urban survival and wilderness survival. It's got a glass breaker pommel on the back that you can obviously use to crush glass or concrete, but you can also use it in the wilderness to crush things like nuts or to further process down some tinder. The handle feels great in my hand. It's large enough and it's got this very grippy, rubbery handle to it, which also makes it very comfortable. The blade itself is 420 HC. It's a 4.8 inch blade with a 9.8 inch overall to the knife. Take a close up look at that rubberized handle there. You can see it's got this diamond texture to it. So no matter if your hands are dry or wet, it works really good and isn't slippy at all. It's got a nice weight to it. I believe it comes in at just over seven ounces. So there's really, again, nothing I don't like about this knife, especially for the price. So the sheath for the Gerber Strong Arm is great as well. As I said, you can wear it either left or right side, and you can put the knife in either way as well. It's got this snap retention at the top to make sure that it's not gonna fall out, but it does have very good retention in the sheath, so I don't really think it's gonna fall out on you. As I said, you can put the knife in either way, and it locks right in, which is great. On the back, you have this plastic piece, which you can wear horizontally on your belt if you like, or you can pull out this little uh, little stick here and you can take it off all the way and that would allow you to molly it onto a pack using this to clip it behind your molly webbing. So the nylon portion of the sheath is nice as well. It's got the two straps on the bottom which you can take off to easily put it onto your belt without having to take your belt all the way off and that's nice. You can also take this piece, this larger piece, all the way off here and then you just have this top portion if you just want to use that sort of drop leg style or you can also use that to secure the top portion of the molly webbing when you're using this to attach to a pack. You could also extend this out by snapping the larger portion into the smaller portion there and then wearing it on your belt as sort of a dangler or drop leg is what they call it but that's really cool as well that it gives you all sorts of mounting and all sorts of carry options with this sheath. So I've got it belt mounted on this thick webbing belt or tactical belt. I've got it mounted on the left side. You can mount it left or right. It's got that thumb push off on the sheath so you can just push off and draw the knife that way. It is very solid when it clicks in so you don't have to run the risk of it falling out but you could also add the extra retention strap for added security. I also like that you don't have to take your belt off to remove the sheath. You can simply just unsnap it at the bottom there and pull it off. So to put the sheath on or off, you don't have to remove your belt, which is great. Probably the best thing about the Gerber Strong Arm is that it's tough and it's affordable. You can pick these up for 45 to $50. Last time I checked on Amazon, depending on what color you want. So I'm gonna leave some links below to where you guys can check out that for yourselves. So I wanted to share that with you today. Even though I've previously reviewed it, I wanted to let you know that I did pick one up for myself and you can also get it in the coyote color, which is cool. I attached it to my bug out bag, as you could see in, I believe yesterday or the day before's video and that's where it's gonna stay on the side of my bug out bag. With all the different attachment options to the sheath and the fact that you can use it left or right handed, that's also pretty cool as well. Like I said before, I'm gonna leave some links below to the gauntlet.tv where you can check out my review as well as all the other abuse that the other reviewers put this knife through. I hope you guys like this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below. Make sure you share this to your friends and family who might be interested and might get you one for the holidays on your social media. You can follow me on my social media as well well. If you haven't already done so guys, and especially if you're going to log in to leave a comment, make sure you click that red subscribe button for more videos.